help reduce appearance of fine lines and dark circles. That's exactly what I need. And the green tea hydrogel one. Oh no! Excuse me. What is that? Why is this broken? I mean, I mean, they wouldn't be able to come out from that thing, but... I mean, I'm gonna take them out anyway. I totally reorganized my whole vanity. I separated all eye masks into one lower shelf. Like, I just rearranged this whole area, so... Just throw, toss this one out, right? I don't know why that came like that. I hope these work. This thing. Oh my god. This is like the most samples I've gotten. Like normally Sephora gives you a little like 4x6 envelope of samples. I'm always worried that some of this stuff's expired, but I don't think they would do that. There's a lot. Clearly. I'm gonna start with the big stuff. Um, makeup remover, pads, for sensitive skin, Ulta Beauty, on the go cleaning. Okay, cool. Oh, there are five towelettes in here. Alright, that seems perfect. <laughs> My camera overheated. So, we're back. Um, if there's like a weird cut and I'm shifted or adjusted, that's why. Okay, interesting. Uh, your confidence must-haves. I guess there's a cleanser, eye cream, and a cream. What is that cream for? It's just a cream. Anti-aging cream. Oh yeah, these are like, just like one use, I guess, or maybe like two uses. Why would I do that? <laughs> it just keeps getting better. All right, I'm glad I read that beforehand. That's it. Totally ignore that. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I really like Bliss. That's Incredible Peel Spa Strength Glycolic Resurfacing Pads to Smooth and Brighten. There's one pad in here. That sounds pretty nice. Bliss used to have like brick of a soap. It was like minty. It was so good. It was my favorite thing. I've never seen it. I think I only saw it like two years back in Marshalls selling for like five dollars until I run out of room there. Oh wow. Okay. I think I know what this is. I'm kind of sad. Wait, yeah, I do. All right, this is Kate Somerville uh, Exfoliate Kate. Oh, intensive exfoliating treatment. Okay, so this is different. Use AM or PM. Um, I tried like their green daily cleanser thing. It didn't do anything. It made me break out. So I'm nervous <laughs> that I've just been using the soy cleanser. Maybe my face is just super used to that. I'll give this a shot along with that one. Oh, okay. Ofra. A little more. <laughs> All right, there's a vitamin A, C serum, vitamin C serum, 25%, vitamin C cream, and a vitamin C cleanser. Um, I've never tried Ofra Cosmetics. I, I don't know, it's not in my radar. This is cool, I could always do some more creams. Kopari coconut face cream. I've never heard of this company. Ellie Mae's papaya enzyme peel. Oh, that sounds really good. This face cream. Oh, apply for 10 minutes and then rinse off with water. Okay. I'll try that once I do a mask or something. I've never heard of these brands. Hava Extreme Minerals Extreme Firming. All right. Shishido Moisturizing Cream. And, ooh. Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment. I think they just joined up with Ulta and I'm super happy about that because I've been wanting to try that Midnight Recovery eye cream thing. Okay, I have this. Illuminizing, illuminizing, illuminizing black mask. I'm glad to have a little bit more. I think we're running low on that, so. Oh, damn, okay, cool. Mario Facial Spray with Chamomile, Chamomile and Lavender. I got the big one at the back of the rose water and a spare one because I really like that spray. So I'm happy to try that one. Yeah, these are great. Skin Iceland. Oh my god. Perfect. Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. Hey. Helps firm and depuff within minutes. Fantastic. I'm going to do one tonight. Murad. I don't know. Prebiotic 4 in 1 Multi Cleanser. Okay. There's so much stuff in here, you guys. This is great. I'm having like a blast getting into these. 
Love, Beauty, and Planet. Coconut, Water, and Mimosa Flower. Ooh, Putty Wash. Oh, that sounds great. I'm just trying to see, like, how much... Oh, that's, like, a pretty hefty amount. Oh, it's in there. It's, like, very jelly. Look at that. It's slowly falling. <laughs> okay. Oh, that smells really good. It smells like watermelon. Never heard of this brand. Cetri Victin. Anti-wrinkle. All right. Juice Beauty Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum. I may keep them. Uh, Garnier Skin Act. Garnier has face stuff? Whoa. Cool. From Lose Makeup. Alright, so this gives the soy cleanser a bit of a breathing room. Pure Sugar Scrub. Oh, nice. Ooh, L'Oreal. Okay. Three Pure Sugars and Grapeseed. So I'm excited for that. I've just been using the Rose sugar scrub by fresh but i am low on that too i really like the moisture search from clinique that's i'm very happy with that little sample a balance from dermalogica it's just moisturizer yeah moisturizer okay and oh dr brand luminizer primer cool another one that's great now i can try another one and more anti-wrinkle worker primer line correcting primer by philosophy all right so that's Two I'll be trying. We're down to like the last seven in here. Uh, Elizabeth Arden Anti-Aging Daily Serum. Multi-Active Jouet. Multi-Active, oh that's such a cute pink back. And UV protection, okay cool. Another brand I've never heard of. Origins, checks and balances. I really liked this. I'm glad to have a little sample of it. I may probably eventually get the full size of it. A frothy face wash. Peter Thomas Skin to Die For. Oh, cool, another primer. Mattifying. So I'll be trying that out. Radiance Facial Polish. Okay, I know I thought I read pads because I know that I have the, the wet facial pads that came in like little tub. I really love those. I don't know if I was a fan of the, cle the face cleanser or the lip gloss or this other. I did like the cream. I feel like anytime I had like a scab or a blemish or like that infinitely just sealed it up and like left almost no mark so it doesn't feel as tacky as like coconut butter so I've been really liking that um moisturizing cream so I'll try this I don't think I tried the polish I think I just tried the cleanser and I wasn't much of a fan of that one last one we're done okay proactive Acne treatment, okay. <laughs> Why is that sealed like that? <laughs> I tried proactive when it became a thing. Uh, I remember going walking around Premise Mall and they had a stand of it and it's like, oh, I remember that from TV. Back when I was a teenager around 13, if not 14. And I had horrendous pimples just all over my face on my knee especially in this area oh man I, you just had to get that one right in the middle right um my forehead was a mess because my hair was like this and i don't know my doctor kept telling me that the sweat from your bang is just causing all of that but i wasn't eating right i wasn't drinking enough water i just wasn't doing what i'm doing now and i use proactive i guess it kind of helped it it made me like learn to like cleanse, exfoliate, moisturize every day. And then once I was done with that whole three step treatment that they had, uh, my mom put me on to Clinique. I've been using Clinique from like maybe 14 to 15 till 23, so two years ago. And then that's when I started to use fresh um the only thing i was doing with clinic was like moisturize and tone exfoliating hydrating i don't know all that other stuff i kind of skipped it we're talking about proactive yeah I'm, I'm surprised proactive is still around i'm glad it worked for people i mean it worked for me it did clear up a bunch of my skin i don't have any terrible like blemish scars or anything so i mean i guess you know once your period starts coming around <laughs> i started to get acne so I'll use that. Yeah. That's it. I'm gonna have to find a way to shove 
all of these samples into my little drawer over here. <laughs> I'll probably just put a bunch of these by the bathroom. I'm, like I said, I'm on the hunt for primer, foundation, and concealers. I just need something so that I don't easily use up my $30 primer <laughs> like sooner than expected. So you get the deal. I'll be trying those and just now I'm fine with makeup again. I feel like I'm getting better. <laughs> uh, definitely better than I was when I first started to put some on. So this practice has been really good. I'm just excited. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching my unboxing. I'm happy with everything I got and I'll just be updating on Instagram and Twitter how all this stuff's been working out. I'll probably do a check-in like a month or two months from now. So yeah, I hope you guys have a good week and thanks for watching. Bye!